in my uh, experience, Rodolfo is a young man who has not really lived through the hard times uh, a usual person does. Yes, he suffered from poverty, but not really because things go his way anyway. Um, and in La Boheme, we see this man who, for the first time, finds a woman that he falls in love with. And this woman is, is fantastic for him, although he faces a challenge when she becomes ill and he doesn't know how to deal with it, like many, many young men would. So he drives her away and, uh, well, by doing that, they, he, he loses his soulmate and, and he sends her away to die, basically, and he doesn't feel great about it, but that's the only way he knew how to deal with it. And then um, when things are going the best, uh, you know, in the opera, um, they're having fun, they're laughing, they're dancing. Suddenly, Puccini hits you with the entrance of Mimi dying. And uh, here again, he has to confront those feelings and he has to face Mimi dying. And, uh, well, for a, 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 someone who has, you know, a, a great... I, I feel very much connected to this uh, character um, because I, I, I see myself in that situation and I, that's the same way I would react, I would think. So it, it moves the audience and Puccini knew how to write for, for moving the audience and for the voice to, to be shown off and, and to be a great opera to hear. And that's one of the reasons that Nabo M is a masterpiece that is going to live forever.